my friend. Thank you so much for your help with the roof set for kids too. We said things together. I really appreciate it. Great call. Thank you for that. John, Big Kenny sitting down. Yep. Good. Big Kenny is sitting down. You know, can we get you cut those real quick? Arthur's a good promoter. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Getting your album in the liners and stuff. That's that's slick. I just thought of that. That just hit me. So nothing. I mean, it's just that just come natural. You're one creative dude. Yeah. 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 Hey, B93 like listener it. family, it's Neil Dion live in Nashville on B93 at CMA Week. And our next guest is a, is a good friend of all of you, I know, from the many visits they've made to our area. Uh, half of an incredibly successful duo that sold more than 5 million records and now has a new solo project of his own out called The Quiet Times of a Rock and Roll Farm Boy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Big Kenny. Good to see you, man. That was such a good intro. I want to jump up and down a little bit. It was, it was. I'm celebrating today anyway, and you just, I mean, well, you just, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm walking, what's that song, go two feet off the ground or something like that? It was sexy as well. Though. There you go. Yeah, that's, there you go. <laughs> that's, that's, that's your boy. And I'm so excited. I brought you flowers. Yeah. Growing from your CD. Yeah. 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 Explain this to well, people. This is the coolest thing ever. Well, here you, I put it. Actually, this is a pansy that I put here in this. This. Uh, these are biodegradable pots. That's amazing. 100 bamboo. Was that your idea? Yeah. All this was my my idea, and then all my team there at Glow Town Records. Glow Town. It's your town. Yes. It's Glow Town. <laughs> uh, we we came together with this, um, and then our good friends at uh, at Wea. Uh, agreed to uh, help us uh, distribute it, but we got it. We figured out how to get the thing manufactured. And what we did is, I got tired of seeing all these plastic sleeve, all these plastic jewel cases lying around, right. and then also seeing hundreds of thousands of acres of mountains blown down to get the coal and the petrol out to to make these jewel cases that are just getting thrown away and put in landfills. Yeah. I hear, I go on, a, a, I hear um, a, from the New York Times that 40 percent of Americans drinking water pollute. Well, I'm going, well, I don't like this. This is, this is something's going wrong here. We need to adjust it a little bit. Avoid so we water. Thought fish we would make love in water. Fish make love in the water. And also, um, like, uh, acid rain falls into the water and goes down our creeks and rivers. And the fish are swimming out, and the fish get mercury in them. And then we eat the fish, and we're eating mercury. The scientists told me yesterday they tested 500 creeks, rivers, uh, waterways across America, and it found um, mercury levels uh, higher than normal and everything that they tested. So uh, we, you eat it, you get mercury, and not good. But more, well, even worse is from the mountaintop removal process, they just pump it back down into the ground. That's how they clean the coal. Mercury, arsenic, lead, all that stuff. They were remember those uh, well, yeah, uh, public but, service but, announcements in the in the in the 70s that said paint chips peeling from the ceiling by my baby's bed. But now instead of plastic, instead of all that, we're going to give you something to inspire you. Big Kenny's Quiet Times of a Rock and Roll a Farm Boy comes with not only music that grows, but it, it comes in a, a biodegradable package that contains 26 varieties of my favorite perennial wildflower seeds. So we can pay, instead of paving our way in shards of plastic, we can pave our way pave our way in flowers. And, I, and all of those seeds in there are legal. All these seeds are legal. The we only problem put, is, if I want to know what cut four is, I got to go dig up my backyard. Yeah, you got to go dig up your backyard. <laughs> no, actually, it's wrapped in a poster, and we suggest you take that poster off, unwrap it, and put it on your mirror, so that every morning when you wake up, you get to see my smiling face and start your day off right. And that track list is on that poster too. And actually, it's a cool thing to have me sign too. Like. Fans can get that, bring a poster, it would be a really neat thing to have to sign on. And I know I have so many fans that bring their CDs to shows, I, I just figured I'd try to make it nicer for them. And then you can go on to BigKenny.tv and not only um, hear all of the wonderful travels of, of myself and my family and friends, but uh, we've also put a map up on there for the, the big Love Everybody Flower Power extravaganza where people can take pictures of the flowers and upload them. We can see where the most flower power is, where the intensity is, and therefore we can go help those people with more charity events and things like that. You should have been born in the 60s, man. You missed your I was girl. born. I'm 19. You got it, dude. That's what I, I mean, I should have lived in the 60s. I was just born then. So your you know, parents you had a ball at that commune. My, yeah. <laughs> no, my, dad's a, my dad's a farmer in, in Virginia. Uh, 
my mother was raised, born in that house. My grandmother was lived in that house with my grandfather, who farmed it before them. And, uh, it goes back eight generations. The house was built before the Civil War, used as a hospital. It used as a hospital before, during the Civil War, built before the Revolution. I mean, it's an old, old place there. My relatives buried out in the cemetery from 1700s. My father taught me stewardship. He said, if you get from the ground what you put into it. Right? You know, they said about love, too. You know, you get what you give. And so I can't I can't see things out there that need a little help to them. And, and knowing my fans, I love them. I want to give them something that can make it better. Or at least spark or inspire the idea that we can each do a little something to make it better. I got this made for the same price as what a CD, a typical CD case would have been made for. It took a little work, don't get me wrong, but we got it done. Nice. So it, it can be done. And so may this may this inspire and uh, thank you in advance to everyone that's running out there and that's ripped awesome. it off the shelf stores today. It's great yeah. to see you. Yeah, and we love Long After I'm Gone. Great song. Thank you, man. And the handlers keep doing this, but it's impossible to stop you. So heck with them. I just want to tell you what a pleasure it is to have this time with you and that we've loved you from the first time we met you. And how's that little boy? Right, he just turned four this past week. No, he that's impossible. He is Captain America. Was he? I know. I was, oh, I was honestly just holding him in the palm of my hand just a few days ago. I mean, just a little thing, yeah. and then all of a sudden, oh, he's a little, a little four, four-year-old Captain America. Or, or some days he goes, likes to go to church as a pirate. And I think we need more pirates in church anyway. <laughs> Big Kenny, thank you so much. <laughs> Big Kenny with us here live in Nashville on B93. The real guys would go, maybe we get a little.